three, two, one. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, great. And I fucking paused. I went right to the dun, menu. Dun, 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 dun. Cowboy Bebop? Yeah. They, just because you did a three, two, one. Oh, three, Good. two, one. Let's dance. Whatever. We're back. <laughs> now I'm all fucking into it. Um, I am going to save it. I think it's a good opportunity now to save because we've actually made a little bit of progress. And by we, I mean me, with no help from Tony as he... What are you talking about? <laughs> I told you not to run directly into the zombies. That's been working out pretty well for you for the most part. I mean, it wasn't n not working out for me, running into them head on. I think it was not working out for you. All right, let's see what this does. <sighs> Yeah. All right. It's gonna be fucking magnum ammo, and I don't have a magnum. Let's see. Let's He's see. Wasting all of your gunpowder. Am I wasting it though? Yes. <laughs> That's actually not that bad. Yeah. I was getting shotgun rounds. No, that was a very pleasant surprise. I mean, maybe if you read the book. Is that still in my? Please tell me it's not actually. In my... Okay. Okay. Yeah, but I didn't want to read the book because it's like 18 pages of bullshit. It, I was going to be have to be the one that read it anyway. Oh, God. You have to do the dogs. Don't forget uh, there's a dodge button, by the way. Yeah, Try not to dodge into the other dogs. It is, it just doesn't do anything. Oh. I remember this area. Do you? Yes. And I don't like it. Like, I like this way better than I like the version of in, in the remake. Oh. Because this area sucks. It's not that. It's not like that. It's a bug thing! Little, like, weird little gremlins from fucking, uh, Resident Evil 1. Is that what they are? I think so, aren't they? No, they look... Oh, they might be. They might be. Oops, simple at least. Menu, menu, menu. Pretty sure is it, yeah I can't go here. Yet. Yeah, you need the battery, the battery. and that's all. That. That's the whole next part of this game. Go here, do this. Go here, put a stone thing in. Turn a statue. Nemesis shows up. Grab a battery. You can't open this gate without the the jewels because that's a good design. Oh. Is that our sexy hunk of a man? Yes. Oh, chicks love the accent. <laughs> Carlos never changed. I don't know. I don't like old Carlos. New Carlos is pretty fucking amazing. I do like him a lot more in the remake. Wait a second. Biohazard 4. Right there. Yeah. And also up top on the marquee. Right up there. Eater. Let's go to Grill 13. Yeah, man. Code Veronica, I guess it was supposed to be originally the Biohazard 4, or was it like not intended to no, be No, it was supposed to be originally 3. Um, but Capcom wanted to have a third game in their trilogy on the PlayStation to just kind of like round it out. Mm -hmm. um, so they opted with that instead. I like to go to Veronica. I, mm. I hope that one gets the remake treatment. Yeah, me too. Come on. And get this menu. City guide. City guide. <laughs> the tracks of our city. Dear citizens. Oh my God, Tony. Thanks to kind and generous people of Umbrella Inc., the best company in the world that's never done anything wrong. This is a peaceful and friendly city. The vast donations from Umbrella I Inc., best company in the world, by the way, have been used for welfare work, the construction of public utilities, and to help maintain public peace 
1992, it was my fifth year as mayor of our beautiful city. It was then that through many donations and hard work, our city was able to rebuild the municipal buildings, creating a state-of-art hospital. In honor of these fine accomplishments, I was awarded the grand status that same year. Oh, statue. That makes more sense. The statue rests in the municipal building. It's a great statue. I came to this city as an engineer more than 35 years ago. I made con contributions to the electric system and to the installation of the cable car. Remember cable cars, guys? I pledge to follow the, follow the tradition of this fine city and will devote my life to its prosperity. The mayor of the city, Michael Warren. The amount of energy that came off of him <laughs> just now was palpable. You guys don't feel it, but believe Man, me. You gotta put it all. Put, just put, put it, it all out there. Yeah. Wait, there's a bag there. Let's check it. Ah, no ammo, no nothing. The lamp is lit. That's good. That that's real good. Uh, wait a second. Seems to be a switch to the drain. Okay. Where the? F I thought I was supposed to see. It's locked. With see, that was the one thing that I had to interact with that I didn't realize I had to interact. Yeah, because with. it doesn't look anything like. Yeah, it does not look interactable compared to like everything else in the game. So I literally spent like two hours wandering. Like, look at that hatch. Totally interactable. I spent like two hours wandering around trying to find that, and can I go in there now? Yeah, I think so. What's that? <gasps> What's that? Calm down, lady. I'm no zombie. My name's Carlos, Corporal of Umbrella's Biohazard Countermeasure Force. What's your name? And I'm Jill, your new boyfriend. Did you just say you belong to Umbrella's army? Yeah. We came all the way out here to save you civilians, but the mission went bad the minute we landed. Wait, how did he find me? Uh, we're gonna escape. I like to think that. Run into the basement. This way. Yep. I like to think that he opens and closes doors like very casually and then does the whole like screaming running thing. You mean like just very gingerly like, let me just open this and then he's just. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so stupid. Please, please. How do I do the thing? Oh, right, 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 right. Oh, wait, no, it's right here. Yes. I didn't have to deal with this on my. I went to the other building first. Oh, instead of going in here? Yeah. Yeah, because no matter what, you have to meet Carlos, so it's either here or there. Yeah. So I met him in the other building, because I didn't find that fucking firehook forever. Wait. <laughs> I have to ask you something. I know. You want to ask me out? All the foxy ladies love Jeez, my accent. Wow. It drives them crazy. He means wow. well. What? <laughs> Such a sleaze bag Tell in me, this one. Why did I know. Umbrella send your team in? Well, only at this part. The, the rest civilians. of the game, he's not. Don't lie to me. Umbrella is the reason why this whole mess began. Look, we're just mercenaries, hired hands. Do you really think the master would tell his dogs why they have to retrieve the stick he just threw? <laughs> if you want answers, you should talk to someone else. I am not with Umbrella. I'm just uh, with Umbrella. Yeah, except for we'll that, like, you know, later. big thing Believe on your back not, that says Umbrella. We're only here to rescue the you civilians. You want to deal with the zombies you that are, like, slowly creeping up behind you? Think about it. It's cool. Oh, no. <laughs> you might want to follow him. <laughs> Come on. There's a, there's a door to the right. I know. Oh. Ooh. All right, so how did I make shotgun ammo again? Uh, you had like, I think it was two A's and a B. And I don't think I have any other fucking ammo. But there might be other ways to do it if you just read the book. Yeah, reading. It's, it's, uh, reading is so This is why blase. kids these days don't know how to play their, pay their taxes. What? what? Well, not a read. <laughs> Too much NASCAR. <laughs> There's so much to unpack with that, Steven. 
Because <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> um, let's do this. Get some of these. Um, oh yeah, let's do this. Alright, and then I'm gonna, I am gonna need to take that crank with me. Um, I'm not gonna save it just yet. And there's nothing else in this room? That this is it? Any, like, fucking ammo? Or something on that shelf. Check that shelf. Ooh, hey. Um. I'll put the handgun bullets away. Mm. No, I'm gonna put the shotgun bullets away. Where's that crank coming to play again? Uh, the gas station. So I have to go to the gas station and I have to break it and then I have yeah, to find the, the wrench, wrench somewhere. Yeah. I think it might be at the trolley. Oh, you need to head oh, to the. Oh, it is. Head to this, the news building now. Isn't that to my right? <gasps> oh, oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> You're about to get fucked up. You better hit that dodge button, boy. All right, here we go. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I, did I did dodge it, though. But he still grabbed. Oh, run away, run my away. God. You know, also, we can't hear the music, so we couldn't tell <laughs> that he was coming. Oh, man. He's going to hes gonna just appear. He's going to be right there. Nah, he'll be fine. Okay. He'll be fine. One, two, three, go. Oh, God. Better make... <laughs> nice, uh, <laughs> nice zigzag in there. Do you understand how difficult that was? <laughs> if you've never played an original Resident Evil game, Fucking do it, please, because the controls are just... They work, but they're terrible. Uh, yeah, I'm taking this first state spray. You goddamn right I am. You sure, you know you should have gotten out of that chest with the gem. But you got fucked up. I mean, it's fine. It's not like I... It won't even activate the thing right now. It'll only do one section, right? Yeah, but you're about two. to get a second gem in here. Fine. I'll go back and get it. And besides, I guess I can put... Uh, well, no, I want to keep the first thing. There's a file on top of that button. Oh, shit, there is. And it looks like a straight-up picture of a zo the zombie from, like, the intro cutscene. Like, that's what it looks like from here. Okay. It oh, literally it is. A close-up shot of a zombie. It says scoop on the backside. Okay, well. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. It's okay, only part of the door is on fire. Yeah, it'll be fine. Look at that one sweet level in uh, Resident Evil Outbreak where like half the building is on fire. It's a good game. You know, I've never played it. It's a good game. Did I tell you about that? Okay. Well, if we run out of Resident Evil games to play. Outbreak? Yeah, that's going to be kind of a pain to, to set up so, to play, though. Is there anything else in here? Reporter's Memo. At last, I have found the evidence I need to prove that the cannibal disease is indeed happening in this city. One man actually ate people to death. He was like a savage animal, tearing away, at, tearing away a new flesh. You didn't, you didn't read it wrong. Yeah, it's just weird. Tearing it was completely disgusting. I've heard rumors that many people are also suffering from this disease now. However, the causes of this disease is not yet unknown. Is this is another mystery of the present disease. Okay. You're a reporter, huh? Yeah. I hope you have a good editor. I will have to check on it. They have placed Raccoon City under martial law because of the cannibal disease. I have lost contact with the media outside of the city, but I won't give up. As a journalist, I won't keep my eyes shut and walk away. I have a duty to the people and my profession. I don't think the disease has spread nationwide yet. I believe that this city holds the key to its creation and cure. In fact, I'm sure of it. The military set up blockades around the city to keep people from escaping and spreading the disease. Most of the citizens have either died or come in contact with the disease. I know that is in 
that it is the right decision to quarantine the city, but I can't help but pity myself. If I'm infected or eaten, it doesn't matter. My fate is already sealed. All I have left is my journalism. I won't give up until I solve the mystery of this deadly disease. I have just discovered that the disease is not spread through the air, but by some other means. Possibly biting. Perhaps. That was definitely the sound of his head popping, right? Yeah. Okay. Photo C. Photo C! The police have been destroyed. Ah, yes. That's what all the liberals want. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> Topical. Um, there's literally nothing else I can do in this room, I take it. So, I can't even go behind the desk. Alright. Alright. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> the fucking loads. Oh! You better get up. <laughs> I might actually be dead from this. Do, I don't have any healing, do I? You'll be fine. You have that first ace spray. Oh, yeah, I do. Uh, I'll wait. Okay, alright. Can I make it out alive? Yes. Probably. I thought I was supposed to, like, jump through that window. I don't think so. But I don't remember. Like, it just I did felt... this in the opposite order last time. Yeah, I don't know. It just felt like that was the right course of action. There's another area over here. Oh, yeah. No, you do jump through. You jump out that way. If you go the opposite way, you jump out that window and come out, like, in the side street back here. Look Carlos. at this guy. Um, do I want to go in there? I feel like it's locked. Yep. Oh, okay, good. All right, well, that makes things easier. Yeah, because if you go to that building twice, this second, or, or no, if you go there first and meet Carlos there, you jump through that window. Gotcha. All right, let me go get that blue gem. Because that's going to take me to the trolley, right? I yes. believe. Dude, I think, I think you only need the two, right? Uh, yeah. The remake has three. Yeah, but they're also, like, not necessary. Yeah, they're not. I mean, if you want to get that, like, uh, item upgrade. Oh, yeah. It sounds like Nemesis is here. But I can't really tell because the music to this game is just like, ambient noise. All right. Um. You know what else I'm gonna do? I'm actually gonna take this with me and get that put in now. Um, that seems smart. Just to get out of the way. Yeah. And I am going to use this first aid spray. I'm not going to... Because there's plenty of healing in this game. That much I do know. Says the guy who keeps running out of healing items. I have a first aid spray. I have a red and green. And I have a, a triple... A triple triad. Wait till it's like it. Come on! Yep. Punch you in the face and then you ain't going to have no healing. But him grabbing you doesn't hurt you. It's not till he throws you or he hits you with the... Uh, with the hentai beam, right? Oh my god! Dude. Well, him punching on the back like that definitely hurts. Oh, why'd I do that? Oh, come <laughs> on. <laughs> Fuck. This is a great game. I particularly like the part where you're just. Oh my god, come on! Be getting destroyed by Nemesis while you're just trying to do things. Dude, bro. <laughs> Please, hurry, hurry. Yes, just, I don't care. Just do it. Why is that control the gate? Who designed this? And he's going to be right fucking behind me, isn't he? Nah, I think he leaves you alone. Here. But I could be wrong. Yeah, coach does not like that call. 
Uh, all right, left or right? Left. Left. Okay. Right leads to the gas station. Which I do have the crank for, so I can do that, but I might as well do this and get the wrench. Yeah. Then I can just rapid fire this shit. Oh, that's definitely bait. Nah, he's chilling. Look, see, you don't even lock onto him. Koi. Okay. One down. Oh. <laughs> I fucking I hate this. God, oh, looks like you're a lot of healing oh. items. Oh god, you fast. This is a zoomer. Oh, I'm I'm actually feeling stressed out right now. <laughs> like legitimately stressed. I I don't like it. Not one bit, sir. No, thank well, you. Maybe if you stop dying all the time. Oh yes, please. Sweet blessed herbs. Um, let's do this. This. Let's do this and this. Okay. Whew. Okay. No. <laughs> You're fucked up. Oh my god, that guy became just a torso. <laughs> <laughs> that was like his legs and everything just blew away. You're talking his about this guy right here? His torso just <laughs> stood there for a moment and fell. <laughs> that was so good. Holy worth it, shit. worth it. <laughs> and I'm fucking healing again, because holy shit. Oh, there's plenty of healing items in this game. I don't think that was... you wanted to do that. Yes, I did. Perfect. Alright, good. Good. We made it to the trolley. <sighs> Mechanics memo. This shit's broke. <laughs> Fix it. <laughs> I know that you're intimidated by your new job, Kevin. So let me tell you how to make sure that you and your trains get along just fine. You see, these carriages are made back in 1968, and we have made zero improvements since then. Yep. And then imported from Europe. Sometimes they get rickety, but they still work because they are simple, stubborn, and strong. You can always depend on them. If they have a bad day as trolleys are wont to do, yeah. and are malfunctioning, you'll need to take a good look at their circuits for any trouble. Once you've discovered what's wrong, you'll be able to fix it easily. That doesn't help. Just look at what's broken, and then fix it. Kevin, you fucking idiot. God damn it, Kevin. This is why we can't leave Raccoon City. I'm sure that you'll be able to avoid these nasty little malfunctions if you check the parts every day. These old trains will surely have problems if you don't remember to check them out. Just remember that you need to replace anything. You have to choose a suitable part. When I say suitable, I mean that you ev that even if you can't find another original part, you better find something that works good enough. Even with regard to oil, you must always prepare good quality oil for the for these trains. Never forget, Kevin, that a man may betray others, but a machine won't. <laughs> what well, the okay. fuck? <laughs> Does uh, this mechanic uh, have some shit he needs to talk about? <laughs> I mean, clearly. All right, freed up an inventory spot. Oh, You're one of the survivors from the rescue team, right? I just ran into your teammate, Carlos. How did a girl like you manage to survive? He seems hey, trustworthy. I'm no mm -hmm. ordinary civvy. I'm a member of STARS. STARS? Special you Tactics and Rescue Squad? Force I team. heard of us. Ugh, we're famous for hey, killing zombies. Hey, is mm -hmm. someone wounded back there? Oh, you mean that guy laying on the bench that's bleeding out all over the place because there's blood stains all over the floor? No, Jill, that's just. Ugh. Oh, he seems fine. This looks bad. What <laughs> are they coming? Get ready! Ah, uh, uh, fire! Fire! Stay together! I do together. like him better in the remake. Calm down. Like a lot yeah. better. Now. I mean, he, got, he has a little bit Everything more. Everything is gonna be okay. Going like on they too. just. They just missed so many opportunities in that game, but, like, the side characters are so much more developed. 
So Jill, did you decide to help us out? It looks like we're the only ones who survived. We should work together. Jill, stop staring at me through the screen. It's really weird. <laughs> no, you too. we can't trust her. We can't trust her. I'm expert at not trusting people. Why? But Sergeant, because we I'm need not her trustworthy. Help. Mm -hmm. Our unit's down to you, me, and Lieutenant Mikhail. That's it. And Mikhail's hurt bad. If we don't cooperate, we won't be walking away from this mission. Mm, fine. Then let's go over our plan. We're, saying, We're moving to the clock tower Never area, trust which is the designated down. landing zone for the extraction <laughs> chopper. With white sweater. Once we get there and give the signal, the chopper will fly in and pull us out. That's a lot of ground to cover. I, I don't think we can make it on foot. The main problem we have is that the landing zone is cut off from here by the fire. Mm -hmm. So we have no choice but to use this cable car to navigate through it. Fortunately, we can also use it as a moving shield to get us through the worst areas. That works for me. Good plan. Sir. Okay, people. Let's get moving. Okay. Jill, put this on. All right, so now I have extra inventory space. Sweet. Oh. Um. And it's a wrench. And there's... Isn't there something? No. Uh, I'm thinking of RE2. There's, like, a box of magnum ammo on, like, the floor of the... The trolley in that game. Is it trolley on In RE2? Yeah, it's, um... You know where you fight G? It's not really a trolley. It's that like whole elevator that has like the, oh, the yeah, thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, that, that, that big train thing. Yeah. Train elevator. Okay. All right. So now I can go to the gas station. Yep. And not only that, but I can also go back and get the um, the fire hose. Yes, which you need to use to uh, put out that fire to get the other shit that you need yeah. to fix the trolley. Oh. <laughs> nope. He was a little too close and a little too fast. <laughs> Plus, I can't remember how to do the the uh, quick turn. It, like, it keeps fucking me up. It's down and back. Yeah. But I don't know if you've noticed, but I keep panicking and I keep doing this. Sorry, this game. Is... This fucking zombies, man. No yeah. kill zombie before? It's this game is very stressful, even though it's so old. It's it's not hard. It's just stressful. It is, and that's like I said. I think this game holds up pretty well in that regard because it does manage to kill, still keep you on edge. Granted, when I played it, I played it on easy and had the uh, assault rifle in. Oh. Must be real nice to have all that limitless yeah, ammo you know, and all those quite, boxes of. It's not unlimited. It's just no. You it's know, just, it's you just start off with an excessive amount of ammo. You start off with like sixty magnum rounds. That is enough for the whole game, like every boss. Yeah, that's sweet. Good times. Okay. All oh, right, right, right. Oh, that's right. Because the other side, after I put the fire out, is the pharmacy. Yeah. Okay. And you have to go to the uh, electric place too. The electric. Oh, right, 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 right. We got like three areas you're gonna go through still. Oh. You know, when I first played this game, that legitimately pissed me like pissed me off. <laughs> and then this cutscene. Yeah, why, okay. first off, why would you do it that way? Like, wouldn't you like yes, just you bring just, it all the way around? Yeah, you would just tighten it and then just rotate it the whole way oh. around. Like, All right. what the fuck? <laughs> so I still need the wrench for one more thing, so I can't drop it off just yet. Oh my god, look at all that. I don't have, do I have powder. enough energy? I got five spots. Yeah, fuck yeah, I do. Pick it up. Yeah, Better pick it up first. Wait. I'll check over there. Hey, Nicolas. I've never seen this. Never seen this? No. This Any happened to me on my last playthrough. I don't know if it happens in every play. Any time I've played, it's always been Carlos. Always. Yes. I do vaguely remember... No, it's... Do you have to light them all up? No, I just have to light up, like, C, then B. Yeah, there we oh, go. Oh, just D. 
Oh, it's whatever one that's lit up there. Okay. Oh. I don't know why I remember this. Do B? No, I oh got. What? A? B? C? Or no? A B D? Not C D. I'm really good at light up puzzles because I had a fucking thing, like a little toy from when I was a kid. Oh, uh, okay. Oh god. I'm sure he's fine. Can I not get that shit now? I uh, told you to pick it up first. Ha! Well, I guess he's still can. Maybe. Hopefully. Doesn't. This is some time. I love having all that inventory. <laughs> Looks like you still have three open spaces, too. Yeah, because normally, like the few times that, or the, the one time I really played the game, you Carlos comes in shortly after, and then like he walks to the door and he's like, "Oh no, they sniffed us out," and then he runs outside to play the hero, and then you come outside and he's like injured on the ground and Jill's like, "No," and thinks he's dead, and then um, the whole fucking place blows up, oh. and then he's missing again. Yeah, I last time when I played it uh, earlier this year, I got that one with the Nikolai. I know it like that's the only thing that's kind of cool about the game is it does do different things depending on yeah, and what it's... areas you go to first and mm -hmm. like your choices when you ha get those little choice moments. Now that is a spicy meatball. Okay. I'm not doing that bad, right? Like, I'm I'm doing okay. Uh, I can't... I can't do anything here yet. Fuck. I gotta go drop this up, because I gotta get that tablet in his hands, and I want to get those herbs. And I think this is the closest way to... Yeah, the drop box is like... Yeah, there's screens a, away. Yeah, there's, yeah. Oh, there's no nemesis. I'll let this one run a little bit longer because we had a short first to kind of balance everything out. There was, did, uh, did nemesis definitely came in. I think I heard the door open. Find out now. Okay. All right. I am gonna read the book. Now you're gonna read the book? Yeah, because I, I have absolutely no fucking idea. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Interesting language. Yeah. You probably have the oil away from now, too. Uh, it's not that one. Okay, on the creation of bullets, this explains how to use the gunpowder and reloading tool. I don't think we need to actually read this out loud. I think we'll be fine. Um, yeah, no, I get that. A, B, and C. Can I go back to the last one? C is created by mixing A and B types. Okay. So if I do three A's, I'm going to get a lot of handgun bullets. I don't have any B or C at the moment. So you get to get C, you create, combine just A and B. Yeah, I don't have any B, though. 
right? I don't think I do. Oh. Probably not, because I used it all. It's all make, fucking A. Make a... That's fine. Shitty ass rounds. Do I still need the lockpick? Um... I feel like I will need it in the clock tower. I don't think I need it now. Just hold on to it. You have the extra inventory space. Okay. All right. Uh, hose. I'll get the hose, and then I'll save it. Yes. Oh God! They all came back. You didn't kill last time, remember? Oh God. Hurry up! Hurry up! He's got plenty of handgun ammo. No, I want to switch the target to this guy. Bad. Is he dead? No, he's not dead. Oh, he is undead. Yeah. Does that count? I mean, technically. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm super excited for Resident Evil 8. You know, apparently, I mean, supposedly the PS5 is supposed to come out this year. I mean, I guess I'm excited for it. I don't think I'm going to get it. Like, not at first, anyway. They, well, so, neither, I probably won't, but there is rumors that the Demon Souls remake might also come out this year. So, if that comes out, like... Then you don't really have a choice. Huh? Yeah, well, as soon as that comes out, I'm buying a PS5. Like, straight up. This is the alternate exit to the... To the restaurant, yeah. So, I want to go this way. Yeah. That just leads back out to the street. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. This way? Yeah. What was over here? The fountain that you have oh, to Oh, right. Do I gotta get the later. stone tablet thing. What is that on the ground? Do you see it? Right here? It's just a shadow. Is it? I think. Okay. He's lost already, boys. I'll take your word for it. No, I mean, I just don't know what it is. It just... He's lost his mind. The stress of oh, Raccoon God. City has gotten to him. Oh, that delicious slurping. Oh, fuck these things. Why are they here already? You can shoot the, uh, drop the, uh, thing down on them. Can you? Yeah. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I wasn't expecting them to come all swiggity swooty at me like that. Like, shit. <laughs> fuck. Oh, come on with this. No, 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 yes. You have that grenade launcher, too. I know. I haven't touched it. Ah, oh, there's still so long. It's, like, so... Ooh, bullets. I will take it. Oh, because each box of bullets is two boxes of bullets. Like, the their icon on the, the thing. No wonder I was so fucking confused. I'm not poisoned, am I? Okay. No. Well, the because this place gives you a, lot of, a couple different, like, infinite lure spots. Yeah. Is it actually infinite? Yeah, that one right there is infinite, and I think the one like that's inside that other um, safe room is infinite. Oh god. Like I'm stressed to the point where like my like my I'm <laughs> doing this with my feet. You'll be able to sleep tonight, Jerry. I hope so. Get that blood rush pumping. I mean, it's pumping right now. All right, let's do... Taking the fire. One... Was there, like, somewhere else you could use, like, the crank or something? Like, back at the bar? That opens, like, a special room that... Um... Like, a shutter that had some extra ammo behind it? I mean, the crank is gone now. Yeah. Oh well. Oh, God. 
What the fuck? Wow, those and I'm injured again. Yeah, you keep taking all that damage, bro. Uh, I mean, I have I have a first aid spray, but I really don't want to be wasting my shotgun ammo like that. I shouldn't have done that. I think it's fine. Uh, it is what it is. Oh, that's <laughs> Fuck. You know that you have to come back this way, right? I know. <laughs> Alright, I'm in the right spot. Okay, so let's do this. Alright, now I'm gonna save it, and now I'm gonna unpuck it. Like. All I have to do is get, what, the oil? Or the additive for the oil. Mm -hmm. And I have to go to that pharmacy. And I... Th that's where the oil is, actually. The additive. Yeah. There's one other thing I feel like... I, it was the, the cable... You have to get the battery. The fuse. Yeah, the fuse. Which comes from the, the, the electric place. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Because then you have to get the battery for that. Which you need the... Get the... Stupid... Hmm. Book for... I forget how you do that. I have to get like put a metal in his hand or something like that. Yeah, because I gotta get the book. I gotta go to where I met Carlos the first time. The restaurant. There's a, a like a thing on the wall. I put the book in. It stops the water from flowing, and then I can grab the compass. Because if you try to grab the compass, like water shoots out of both sides and it traps you. Oh right, right, right. So you um, just have to press the button to get the book, but you can't. Right, but I didn't have any space, which is the yeah. whole reason why I came all the way the fuck back down this way. Um. But yeah, that's fine. I'm just gonna combine my shit. I'm gonna save it, and then next time we're gonna go to uh, the other part of the city, and we're gonna get that done, and then we'll be done with Raccoon City proper. And then what's the clock tower after yeah, this? Yeah, and honestly, like, like after the best the part clock, of the game. Yeah, like clock tower is like halfway through the game. I mean, we did what like an hour and a half, almost two hours. Yeah, that's not too bad. Like all things considered, yeah, this was definitely shorter. I mean, I guess it's because partially Resident Evil 2 has literally just played the game twice. Right. Also, so. <laughs> and here's a bunch of game modes using all the exact same assets over and over again. What am I doing? I'm, we're, we're good at this point. All right, guys. Well, next time, I already gave you the rundown of what we're going to do. Uh, and we will see you then. Peace, everybody. Bye.